Well, here we go. We'll talk about that later. And away we go. Good kickoff, Adula County. It's going to be taken by... And he carries Dooley County players all the way up to the 40-yard line, and he's still going to the 42. And folks, the fair is still in town. First to 10, Lincoln County. As he toted about five or six with him all the way to the 42. They jumped on him about the 38. He toted them five yards. Who was that running the ball? I think that was Franklin Brown. Franklin Brown. I, 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 it was hard to see. They bunched up so quick. It was hard to get the number, but I do believe it was Franklin Brown on the return. So ball, first and 10 on the 43, 11-48. Here we are in the first quarter, nothing, nothing. Lincoln County with the ball. Huff are going to be under center, going to get it off. Samaj Jenkins for a good carry almost to the 50. Right there to almost the midfield. Good pickup of about five. He's going to be at the 48. And last week may have spoiled us a little bit, Leighton. He got almost six. He got about six on the carry. But you got so used last week to see him getting 10 and 12 at a time, it felt like he didn't oh, get yeah. much. But it's the good pickup. Go spot him at the 49. Second and about four. Huff under center. Got a tight set in there by the Red Devils. Got one man off to the right. Madison off to the right. Going towards the gym. He's going to hand it off again. A little cross buck right down on the diamond, on the Lincoln County diamond. Just a short game for Franklin Brown. Going to be third and short for the Red Devils. Yeah, that was a, 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 a good tackle that time, hitting him low because Franklin Brown was getting some steam. He probably would have got a first down had he not gone down by that one tackler that was able to hit him low. And we do apologize if the microphones are picking up all the cowbells. <laughs> They're right in front of us. So third and third and long two for the Red Devils. They're going to run up. No, Trey Huff takes it straight up the gut. And he may, he's probably going to be a half yard short. It really depends on the spot right there. The, he, one, the one ref is over the first down marker. Let's see where they spot him. They're going to call it fourth and a half a yard. Fourth and a half a yard. And that was all Trey Huff I'm pushing. And we're going to go for it. 10-08, fourth down, fourth and one. We're going for it. Trey Huff's going to move up the middle. They push him from behind. He's got to have enough. Going to yeah. be first to 10, Lincoln County. They're yeah. spotting him at enough. Unless they move it back. Right now he's got a first down. Nice quarterback sneak that right. time. Good quarterback sneak right between the guard and the tackle. He moved his way through there. He wheeled his way through there. First and 10, Lincoln County. Ball on the 46. 9.56 left to go here in the first. Nothing, nothing. Lincoln County's first possession. Huff under center again. Got a man in motion. He's going to go back in spot. Franklin Brown trying to draw him off. No wide receiver. Tight set by the Red Devils. Go hand off. Here comes Franklin Brown again. And he's going to be good if he got to the 45. About a, about a one yard pickup. Going to be second and nine. And they are clogging up that middle, that defensive line. They had him moved up to the 45. They moved it back to the 46. Going to be, they show him he may have got a half a yard. Going to be second and nine. They're prepared for the run. They almost running a 5 2 with a linebacker sneaking up. Franklin Brown's moved out to wide receiver. Quarterback in the center. They're going to throw it to him. Ah, he couldn't get it. Out of the reach of Franklin Brown, just over his fingertips. Going to be third and long for the Red Devils, third and nine. Yeah, he had Franklin Brown wide open in the flat on the right side. He just threw it behind him and too high. Franklin was able to get two hands on it, which is unusual for him not to come down, but it would have been a very difficult catch as he had to reach behind him and jump. The ball sitting on the 46. Trey did have a little bit of pressure in his face on it as well. Third and a long nine. Trey Huff under center. Got a man in motion. They're all bunched up at the front. They've all camped out. The whole defense is camped out right on the front of the off, right in front of the offensive line. Quarterback's going to roll out. He's looking. He's looking. He's looking. Trying to get it off. And he does not. Claxton Jones was out there in the flat, and he could not connect as he had pressure all over him from Dooley County. So with 8.45 left to go here in the first, fourth and 10, we're going to have to punt it. 
Yeah, there was a blitz and linebacker went between the guard and the center, and he just busted through the line, and Trey uh, did everything he could to outrun him and then just tried to get it off and threw it low for Claxton Jones. He couldn't get his hands underneath it. Judson Biggs in for the Red Devils to punt the ball. They got, they got eight guys in the box. They're all over the box. Hike is good, punt is up in the air, good punt, good high punt. And he's gonna call fair catch right at the 20 yard line. Be first and 10, Dooley County ball on the 20. With 8.40 left to go here in the first quarter. And we're wasting no time as the Lincoln County defense is getting set up. So our first punt of the night, a good one, as we got them back on the 20, first and 10. The only thing I can gather from that first possession is we're not going to they've got the middle stacked up yeah I mean, they they're, are, they're fast that's what that's what i'm saying again they're not big i mean I, th I would definitely say we have the size advantage but they were shooting the gaps really well yeah. uh playing really good discipline defense in the gaps making it hard for us to get any movement so here comes dooley county in the shotgun they got three wide outs to the right this time they do a complete shift and they bring everybody from the right to the left quarterback even shifts Takes the snap. It's a shotgun snap. He's going to hand it off to his running back, trying to go across the right side, and he's trying to fight. Uh, Lincoln County doing a good job gang tackling him, and that's R.J. Crite. That's Franklin Brown trying to get other numbers. It was just a whole host of Red Devils in there. I think that was C.J. Crite. Good pickup for Dooley County. Pick up about three. Going to be about second and seven. Yeah, just a simple dive play. So Dooley County comes out of their huddle this time. They got two wideouts to the right, two to the left. Running back is to the left of the quarterback who's lined up in the shotgun. And he's going to take the snap, and it's going to be a quick pass to the left side. And his, play, his man's got it. He's running down the left side of the field, and we're going to chase him down to the 50-yard line by, I think that was Heath Cresswell that finally made the tackle. It's a pickup of about 29 yards on the play. Actually, we'll say 27. So big gain there by Dooley County. Dang, horn about to drive me crazy. Big gain there by Dooley County. Ball will be on the 49-yard line. First and 10, Dooley County. So Dooley County are almost at midfield, just a yard shy in the shotgun, two wide outs to the right. Going to take the snap. Again, quick screen pass over the right side. A little high. He had to jump to get it. Player jumps up and grabs it. He's only going to pick up about two on the play. He's going to cross the 50 and get to the 49 of Lincoln County, trying to get a number. I think that was Franklin Brown. It was on the tackle. So they're going to say second, and we'll say a long eight. So I can tell you so far as they, they do their blocking assignments. They are blocked out everywhere. They are making it difficult for us to make the tackle. And I don't know, you know, without seeing their film, I'm not sure if that's normal, but these are the type of passes that kind of killed the Lincoln County defense earlier in the season, just quick little screen passes. Um, so they're doing that a lot early. So second down, eight to go. Ball on the 49-yard line in Lincoln County territory. Two wideouts to the right, two to the left. Quarterback in a pistol formation this time. And he wasn't ready for the snap, and they snap it. And we're going to tackle Fumble on the ground. Fumble on the play. Fumble. And I think they're going to get on it. They, Lincoln County had a lot of opportunity that time to jump on the fumble. It's going to be a loss of about four, 15 yards on the play all the way back at the 36-yard line. The quarterback, he's doing a snap count where it's, with his claps and he uh, clapped and he spoke to the offensive line. He, he wasn't ready for the snap. They snapped it anyway, went right through his hands mm. and that's gonna make it third down. We need to do, uh. Third down. Oh. You just do it, you just do it. Quarterback again gonna be in the shotgun. Four wide receivers, three to the left, one to the right. He's gonna, he's gonna take it, his own big hit. Big hit by number 12, Christian Elam, by the Lincoln County defense. And again, we go down for a lost yard. It's, it's fourth down and long this time for Dooley County as we got lucky on the fumble. And then big play by Christian Elam for the sack. So ball is now at, thir at on 32. They're going to call it fourth and about 23 or 24. They will have to punt. Let's see what they got. 
Lincoln County stands fast and stands ready. Number two, Wade out there to return it. High kick, Wade's gonna let it bounce. He's gonna let it bounce and it's gonna take a Dooley County bounce all the way down to about the 29 yard line. So first to 10, Lincoln County ball on the 29. And again, we're gonna stay right here with you. 503 left to go here in the first. Still nothing, nothing here in Lincoln. It'll be too aggravating moving it back and forth. We're doing halftime, Wolf. So Lincoln County, Dooley County wasted no time. Lincoln County getting instructions from the sideline. They did place the ball at the 30. First and 10 on the 30. And here comes the red machine. Madison out at wide receiver. Quarterback under center. He's going to roll out. He's looking. He's looking. He's a bootleg it out there. And he's got a man, and he could not quite reach him. He had a man right down there by the 30, uh, correction, by the 45, and could not hit him. He's been off target twice already tonight. They can't hear for the background noise. He got quiet then. Again, quarterback under center. He's going to come around the side. He's at the 30, 35. He cuts back, and he's out of bounds right before the 40-yard line. Good run there by Lincoln County. Franklin Brown for the carry for the Red Devils. Good run. It's going to be close to a first down. So it's going to be third and about a half a yard. Now they're going to give him a first down. These referees, they got to get on the same page. Ball on the 40, first and 10, Lincoln County, 449 left to go. Still nothing, nothing here in Lincoln. Quarterback under center. Got a man in motion. Here he comes. Here comes Samaj Jenkins for a short carry of about two yards. Going to be second and eight. 426 left to go here in the first. Because now they're saying they can't hear me because of the background noise. I don't know. Ball on the 42. Second and eight, Lincoln County comes up to the line. No wide receivers this time. Quarterback under center, he's gonna hand it off. Here comes Samaj, he got a hold in the time. He's at the 50, he's still stumbling. He's at the 40, all the way down to the 32 yard line. First and 10, Lincoln County. Big run there by Samaj, but we got some flags on the play. And where they're at, probably holding. Because he had a big hole that time. And it will be holding against the Red Devils. That'll move us back 10 yards. They're going to spot the ball back at the 35 yard line. Again, we're going towards the gym. That's a big penalty there. It's going to be second and 15. Again, we come out one wide receiver in close. Quarterback under center. Got a man in motion. Here comes Samaj Jenkins again, running around the side. He's got a hole over there. He's around the 40 and tackled hard about the 43 yard line. Because it wasn't in there. Third down, about eight yards to go. Check it now. Yep. All right. 
All right, ball. Hopefully that's better. If you're hearing it at home, hopefully that's better. Ball on the 43. Third and seven for Lincoln County. Quarterback under center on a quick pass out. And they're going to wrestle him out of bounds on the home side after a gain of probably about four. It's going to be fourth and short, fourth and about two. Uh, I, we just changed an audio cable. Um, so if you are listening, can you let us know if that has helped at all? We just they said it's better. Okay. All right. Well, maybe we got it fixed. Let's hope so. I don't want to give Leighton all the glory tonight. <laughs> 2.54 left to go here in the first quarter. Still nothing, nothing. We're in a dog fight. It's fourth down and about three, and Lincoln County is going to have to punt it. Judson begs in like for the Red Devils. out on the field. And we got a timeout, Red Devil. So while they take one, we're going to take one. Good snap. Good punt. Fair catch. And he's going to fair catch it around the 24-yard line. So first and 10 Bobcats around the 24. 237 again left to go here in the first. Still nothing, nothing here in Lincoln. And we want to send a shout-out and an apology to Mandy Doss. Just got a message says that we need to take out the person that has the cowbell. <laughs> we need to take well, that. Well, we out. can't do that. <laughs> now we know how Mr. Well, listen, we got about three cowbells about 12 feet in front of us. So. Oh, yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> and we can't move down. So ball on the 24th, 24, first and 10, 237 left to go. So here comes Dooley County in a shotgun, two wide outs to the right, two to the left, running back to the quarterback's right. He's going to hand it off on a dive play across the left side. Oh, good big hit. play. Good hit right at the line of scrimmage, and I think that was Mr. C.J. Crite. That well, I hope is going to be on every all-region, all-state. I mean, just has been all over the field all year long. Got a flag on the play. Let's see what they call here then. That's a holding against holding Dooley against County. Dooley. Going to move them back some. So that's going to make it first and 20. Ball back at the 16-yard line. 231 to go in the first quarter. 0-0. Zero, zero. Dooley County comes out of their huddle. They got three wide outs to the right, one to the left. Last time they did this, they shifted the whole right side. Let's see what happens. Quarterback in the shotgun, takes the snap, goes back to pass, and he's going to throw it downfield. He's going to overflow, throw his receiver by about 10 yards. Good coverage that time. Uh, Trey Huff and trying to get a number over there. Can you see the other Looks player? like Samaj Jenkins. Samaj Jenkins side. was all over him. Trey was there at free safety coming over the top for help, but Samaj was with him step for step. Uh, it's going to fall incomplete. Second down, 20 to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. And we're giving a big cushion there. When we had that three, the trays out to the right, we gave a big cushion there. Surprised he didn't go that way, but he trying to, he was trying for the home run ball. So he was. Second 20. The first time he's thrown it downfield. So they've come out again, same formation, three wide outs to the right, one to the left. He fumbled the snap again, but was able to get his hands back around it. And he's going to run for a gain of two on the play before he's taken down by Heath Cresswell. Big hit. And that's going to make it third down and 18 to go, which going off their offense, I'm going to say they don't have this play in their bag. 36 left to go here in the first. Still nothing, nothing here in Lincoln. I see this being some type of a screen pass, something like that maybe. Um, just trying to pick up some yards. And if you get it, that's great. But something that was... Uh, Looking for something that's very high. Got some Marsh out there by himself on the island. So quarterback takes a snap. He goes back to look, and he is looking downfield, and he's going to throw it underneath. He's going to complete it, but it's going to be short by about six yards. Uh, that was meatball. meatball. Franklin J. Brown on the tackle. Uh, ball is going to be placed down at the 27-yard line, maybe? Yep, 27. Maybe the 28. And it's going to be fourth and six. I tell you, so far early in this game, we were able to watch a little bit of the Charlton County game. It's looking a lot like that game right now. It was, play, in, play in between the 30s. Yeah. So they line up to punt the ball away. Punter standing back at the 12-yard line, takes the snap. Way, and it's oh, off the punt, side of his foot real, real, real bad. Real it's going to go out of bounds on the Lincoln County side of the field. I'm going to say they're probably going to put it down 
Ah, I think that's a really good spot for Four them. I, I think it went out of bounds before the 40, but on any event, Lincoln County's in Dooley County territory at the 42-yard line. So good spot there for Lincoln County. Comes out. Number 13, C.J. Crike checks in at wide receiver. He's close in, bunch set by the Red Devils, quarterback under center, and they're going to run the ball. Here we go. Oh. He was hit as soon as he got it. Franklin Brown, probably a loss of two on that play. He was hit just as soon as he got the exchange from Huff. And that's one of the linebackers that's been causing a lot of havoc in the backfield so far. Uh, he's, he's, he's chased Trey down on a couple of those pass plays. He's been getting a lot of uh, penetration against this offensive line so far early in this game. So big play there by Dooley County. They're going to put it up at a loss of one. Going to be second and 11 for the Red Devils. And I think that's going to lead us in to the second quarter. And it does. So we will change that. We've had some success running to the side, but nothing up that middle so far. And they're stacked up again. Huff on the, under center. Got a man in motion. He's in the shotgun. He's going to take it himself. He's going to run it. And he's not going to be too successful either. He may have got back to the original line of scrimmage. And he did. So it's going to be third and 10. Kind of our bread and butter play this year with the quarterback sneak, and it goes nowhere. I tell you what, I'm, I'm just watching their defense, man. They don't have size on the line, but they have three really good size linebackers. Um, and those guys are just playing disciplined gap football. Um, I mean, they are some they are some real linebackers. So we come out with trades, two to the left, one to the right. Quarterback in the shotgun, the screen pass. Here comes oh. Taylor Brown. Good run, and he slides. I think it's going to be enough. He slides. He fell. He lost his footing around the 31-yard line, but I think he's going to have enough. Good screen play there by the Red Devils, and he does. They're moving the chain game first and 10, Lincoln County. And that was the perfect play call um, against that defense. Perfect play call, that screen pass. So ball right on the 31, first and 10, Lincoln County. That's called a jailbreak screen, if you know what that is, where they let the whole defensive line through. And they came through in a hurry. Quarterback this time under center. One wide receiver. Got a man in motion. Wade is checked in at slot back. A quick pass to the side. Here comes Crite. C.J. Crite, good play there. Uh, just a quick pass to the sideline, a little quick out. And he gets all the way down to around the 22-yard line. So almost a 10-yard pickup. Going to be second and one for the Red Devils. And it looks like Dooley County has like one. Huff's going to be under center. He's going to toss it back. Here comes Josiah, and he's got a sideline, and he's going to get it out. Woo! Here we go, boys. Touchdown, Red Devils. Samaj Jenkins. Samaj Jenkins with a little tall sweep as he goes in for the Red Devils towards Lillian Sims. Touchdown, Lincoln County. 10-37 left to go here in the second, and we strike. 6-0, Lincoln County on top. Abraham Crawford comes out for the extra point. Huff's going to hold it for him. Ball is snapped. Hold is good. Kick is up into the night sky, and it's good. Extra point. Much up the middle, but it's, uh, there's plenty of room on that side, the left or the right. Abraham Crawford teased the ball up. We're getting ready to kick off. Got the ball teed up. Getting the order from the referee. Let's rock and roll. Good kickoff. They're going to take it around the 22-yard line. They're going to come around to the side. They're trying to find the wall. Ooh! Oh, my goodness, a truck collision. The ball's on the ground. And they fell on it again. They fell on it again. They got lucky again. Golly. I don't know who come through there, but I somebody. I think that was C.J. Cried again. It looked like a truck wreck. I, oh my gosh. He was trying to he was trying to run around. He came from the home side. He was running to the other sideline trying to they were trying to put up a wall to give him a wall to run behind. And he found the wall. He found the moving wall and CJ Cripe. And he knocked him in to Christmas. He never saw him coming. I mean he was running hard left. 
CJ chased him down from the right side of the field and just never saw him coming, and he blew him up. And so be, what should have been a turnover, we had about three red jerseys oh yeah. around it. So, so first and 10, ball on the 24. Take it away, John. So here comes Dooley County on offense. Man goes in motion from left to right. Quarterback takes the shotgun snap. It's going to be a quick pass over. And good tackle behind the line of scrimmage by Franklin Brown. Good tackle. Had two guys, had a guy on him, and he made the tackle anyway. Yeah, it was a one-on-one -on -one play. The man tried to make Franklin Brown miss. He couldn't do it. It's going to be a loss of one on the play. Actually, going to say loss of two, and that's going to make it second and 12. So a big play there by Franklin Brown, the head on of the group. So second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Lincoln County just took the lead, 7-0. 9.50 left to go in the first half. Quarterback in the shotgun, trips to the right. Quarterback takes the snap. He's going to hand it off to his running back, trying to go across the left side. He makes one man miss, and he's still fighting forward. He's going to pick up a few on the play. And uh, number 53 on the tackle. Zellers. Yep, Justin, Justin Zellers, Zellers. Along and, with Trey Huff in there to clean it up a little bit. And they're going to give him about six on the play. It's going to make it third down and about four. I mean, third and six. Big play there by the Red Devil defense as he fought hard, the running back did, but finally got him cleaned up. Good seven yard gain there. Quarterback in the shotgun, trips to the right, one wide out left, takes the snap, goes back to pass, quick pass over the middle of the field, wide open, and he's still fighting forward, trying to get somewhere, and it looks, like, his helmet. It looks like it's gonna be a first down. He's gonna get it by about a yard. He gets up to the 36 yard line before he's gang tackled by Lincoln County. There's a flag on the play. Um, his helmet came flying off. I don't know if they're going to call some type of personal foul. Uh, yeah, the, the Dooley County players are pointing at Lincoln County and the way his helmet came off. I mean, that's all you can figure the play, the, the call. I didn't see it. I didn't see what happened. But you did see the helmet come flying. It's targeting. Targeting. Yeah, he did a targeting call, and that's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Now, in high school, there is no ejection for targeting, so you don't have to stress about that like you do. The ball all the way up to the 49-yard line, so big, big yardage given to Dooley County off that targeting call. I wish I knew what in the world they thought targeting was. So first and 10 on the 49 for Dooley County. The Bobcats in motion. Yeah, in Lincoln County territory. 8.42 left to go in the first half. Lincoln County up 7-0. Quarterback in the shotgun. Man goes in motion from left to right. Quarterback hands it off to his running back. He's looking for a hole. He finds a little hole. And he's going to pick up about seven on the play. He's tackled by Trey Huff. And the ball's going to be put down at the 42-yard line. It's going to make it second down and three. Uh, actually, more like two to go. We'll say second and two. I can't take that boat horn. <laughs> that thing is aggravating. <laughs> and quarterback in the shotgun. Takes the snap, and it's a bad snap, and he picks it up. And he actually makes something out of nothing. He's pushing forward. It's going to be a first down. And... Ball's going to be placed down at the 37-yard line. It, uh, was a, it was a broken play. They were, Dooley County very fortunate that time to get away with it because the ball went to his left. He put one hand on it. It fell to the ground. He was able to pick it up, up and run back right and pick up a first down. So first and 10, ball on the 37-yard line. 7.40 left to go here in the second. 7 nothing Lincoln County on top. Actually, they're going to say it's the 38-yard line. Quarterback in the shotgun, takes the snap. He's looking, he's looking. He throws it downfield. The receiver comes back up and makes the kick. Oh, it falls incomplete. What, what a play that would have been. The, the Dooley County player looked like he came up with the reception, and when he went falling forward, the ball came popping out of his hands. It hit uh, Heath Cresswell right in the chest. Mm -hmm. It would have been an amazing interception, but it falls incomplete. As Heath doesn't, he's not ready for that. So, so second and 10. Clock stops with an incomplete pass, 7.23 left to go here in the second. 
That was a, a purposeful underthrow on that play as there was good coverage downfield, but he underthrew it so the receiver could come back to it because the defender had his back to him and almost a completion, but second and 10. So quarterback takes the snap, hands it off to his running back. And he finds a little bit of a hole again. Oh, another Ooh, big tackle by C.J. Kreit. He has been all over the field making big hits. It's going to be a pickup of four or five. They're going to say five. And it's going to make it third and five ball on the 33-yard line. Mm -hmm. Need to hold them here, third and five. Most likely they're in full down territory, though. They're going to go for it on fourth down, oh, yeah. regardless of what this is. Definitely full down territory. Quarterback in the shotgun has wide outs to the right. He throws it downfield, and he overthrows his man, hits him in the hands, but he can't bring it down. And that's the same pass he's been open on the whole game. Oh, yeah. That 10. Was... That's his bread and butter, but he overthrowed him this time, and he couldn't make the hit. He couldn't make the catch because he got hit right when the ball got there. Yeah, that was just a bad throw. Uh, again, they've, it's it's. But he's open every time he comes out to that flat right there. Yeah, it's a curl route. He runs up about five yards and just curls in, and he's wide open every time. That time, that that's um, the quarterback for Dooley County has made a couple of those throws high. That wasn't his first one, but that was the first one they dropped. So they got three wide outs to the right. Oh, we got a timeout on the field. Lincoln, Lincoln County, County play. Um, Dooley County running a lot of screen passes, a lot of quick curl routes. They got three wide outs to the right, one to the left. Quarterback in the shotgun, takes the snap, and he does. He goes back to pass, and it's going to be there a There you go, brother. There you go. And it goes nowhere. Big loss. R.J. Kreit on the tackle. <laughs> Big it's going to be a loss of five on the play. It's going to make it first down Lincoln County at the 39-yard line. So big loss there for the play for Dooley County as they go for it on fourth down. Lincoln County scoops. And there'll be first and 10 ball on the 38. So yeah. 6.35 left to go here in this second quarter. In the field, eat up some of this clock. Red Devils got two timeouts left. Dooley County has one timeout. Image. The Lincoln County offensive line came up. They're real bunched in. Madison in there at wide receiver, but he's close in on the offensive line. And they're going to hand it off to Franklin Brown. He's trying to get around that side, oh. and he's eight up. By the, by the Bobcats. He's taken all the way back down to the 30-yard line. Big loss there by the Red Devils. Some hitting going on so far tonight. The ball all the way back on the 30-yard line. Well, really the 29. Yeah, actually about the 29, so yeah. A big loss there. It's going to be second and 18 for the Red Devils. So quarterback, two wide receivers out to the left on the home side. Quarterback goes back. He's going to throw it. He's looking. He's got him a man. He's got one man to beat, and he overthrows him. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you down here. Quarterback under center, one wide receiver. Got a man in motion. They're going to hand it off. Up the middle, a little cross buck. Doesn't go anywhere. Pick up a baby about three yards. Brings up fourth and long, fourth and 15. Downs like that and fight that hard after. Judson begs for the punt. They're all coming after him. The whole force is coming out. He overkicks some big punt, takes a Lincoln County bounce, and they're going to tackle him all the way back to the, looks like the 27, 28-yard line. Big play. Huh, uh, Beggs overkicked the receiver out there, and he had to run around and catch it, and he lost big yardage there as they placed the ball on the 28. So first and 10. It's yeah, been a really good defensive game so far. Lincoln County has gotten some points on the board, but they came hard. So Dooley County comes out and the shotgun takes the snap. He fakes the handoff and he keeps it. The quarterback does. He's still running. He's still running another missed tackle and he's going to get all the way up in the Lincoln County territory to the 47 yard line. And it's going to be a pickup of about 25 yards. Big run there by the Dooley County quarterback. He's He's kind of short and stocky himself, and he got through them yardage and got through about three or four Red Devils before he was brought down. Yeah, I believe that was his first keeper on purpose. That was a read option, and he faked the handoff and then pulled back to keep it. Uh, really smart play by him to keep that and had a lot of green in front of him. So quarterback in the shotgun, three wide outs to the right. He takes the handoff this time. He, he hands off to his running back across the left side, and it's a tough three yards as he's – Tackled by a host of Red Devils, Big Trey Turner, Heath Cresswell, 
Franklin Brown. Between this and the Green County game, probably the most physical games we've played all year. Oh, for sure, yeah. There's been a lot of physicality tonight. It's going to make it second down and seven. They got even three on the carry. They break out three wide to the right. Quarterback is in the shotgun. Running back is to his left. And the quarterback's going to keep it again. And he uh, throws his head down with Trey Huff and actually gets another two yards out of it. And that's going to be a first down thanks to him really pushing hard through it. So and Something you don't see, Trey Huff got – he just got mauled yeah. right there. I, I was fixing to say, I don't know that I've ever seen Trey I never seen it. Uh, get uh, plowed like that, but I don't think he expected the quarterback to lower his head and do it. Um, so that's going to be first and 10 ball on the 36-yard line. Low snap. Quarterback's going to keep it. He's looking for the middle of the field. That time, Trey gets in there, and Trey says not this time, and puts his head in his chest, drives him backwards. It's going to be a pickup of about three. He's going to get up to the 34, 33 yard line, maybe. Yeah, Trey said not this time. So it is a pickup of about three, going to make it second and seven. Seven nothing. Lincoln County on top, 310 left to go here in the second quarter. I was going to say, we got 13 on the field, not just 12, but now finally uh, there was some communication of who needed to get off. So now we're back to 11. I was getting worried for a minute. They got three wide outs to the right. There's a timeout on the field there. Also want to let you guys know, and I'll say more about this in a moment, but we have a Christmas tree lot to raise money for Secret Santa and FCA. We'll tell you more about in just a moment. We got three wide outs to the right. Second down, seven to go. Quarterback takes the snap. He's going to throw it right up the middle, and he's going to hit that uh, receiver that he's been hitting all night long, and he gets up to the... 26 yard line and just enough for a first down. Seven nothing, Lincoln County on top. And this is a this is the best drive Dooley County's put together to, tonight. They're in Lincoln County territory, getting close to the red zone at the 27 yard line, first and ten. Quarterback in the shotgun, three wideouts right, running back to the right this time. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff. He's looking downfield. He's letting, he throws it up the middle, and is it going to be complete? He dives forward to catch the ball. They're going to say yes. The ball is complete, and it's going to be at the 20-yard line, so that's going to make it – there may be a little discussion about it. Not sure what's going on here. He threw it kind of low. To get, the receiver had to dive forward into his left, and – they're yeah. talking. Oh, about they're it. saying incomplete. it's incomplete. So they're, they're talking about it's incomplete. It. So let's go move them back. It's gonna be second and ten, back at the line of scrimmage. Just a quick update for you. Thompson's up 28 to 12, down in Atlanta. As they're trying to advance to the fourth round playoffs. They're in the fourth. Who quarter. are they playing? Uh, South Atlanta. South Atlanta. So they're in South Atlanta, up 28-12, trying to get to the fourth round, just like we are. So that was a big call on that incompletion because it, it was close. Uh, it was close. It was a hard catch. So second down, 10 to go. Quarterback takes the snap, hands it off to his running back. His running back busts through a big hole, and they're going to wrap him up and bring him down after a pickup of about nine. I think he's going to be about a yard short. I think a, that was C.J. Crane on the tackle. There, Man, right? that was the biggest hole they've had all night. And I thought when he went through it, he was going to score. And C.J. Crite came out of nowhere and wrapped him up and brought him down. It's going to be third down, one to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. Yeah, Lincoln County has not given up a big hole like that tonight. That was the biggest one yet. Quarterback in the shotgun takes the snap, fakes the handoff. And what a, wow. Big they're going to throw a flag. Oh, I, don't, man. I don't like it at all. He I went think for he, the ball. I think he was there when the ball got there, and they're going to call pass interference, but I don't like the call. I really don't like the offensive call um, that, that the coach made. I mean, it's third and one. You've been running the ball well, throwing the ball downfield. That should have been an incompletion, but they're going to call a pass interference on Trey Huff. The only reason I can think is they come over his back, but he was going for the ball. Yeah, he I got mean, there the same he, time. He the got ball there did. when the ball got there. I, I I think that was good defense, but it ain't about what I think. It's going to be first and goal from the nine. Terrible call there. 
So here we go. And they spread us out again. Yep, they got They're going to call a timeout. Right. Lincoln County is going to take a time. Family Dollar and Dixie Quick, come out tomorrow. We'll be open all day tomorrow and come get you a Christmas tree. So quarterback into shotgun, takes the snap. He's going to throw a fade, a fade route to the left side of the end zone. And he pushed off. I mean, with a big push off off of Franklin Brown yes. to make that reception, and he went out of bounds. There ain't nothing you can do about that. So it's 7-6, Lincoln County still on top. I Duly see if they County have a kicker. with extra point, tied up. Snap good, hold is good, kick is up, and it is good. So 7-7. Seven, seven. If there's not, not a, well, we ain't got a camera over there, do we? So I guess, nah, we, we, had to I guess just, we won't see it. Had to go by that word, I reckon. <laughs> Newly yeah. County gets ready, going to kick off to the Red Devils. Got the ball teed up. We got one timeout, 106 left to go. They're going to do a little squib kick. And we're going to get down on it around the 40-yard line. That ball was taking some bounces. It was. That was a great hands play by C.J. Kreit. That bounce ball bounced up in the middle of rolling, and he reached up and grabbed it. Nice play. I'm not real sure if the coach called that. or I, I, I see the coach looking at the kicker, asking him what he was doing, because with a minute to go, you don't want to give the ball to the – the offense on the 41-yard line, I was a little surprised at that. But So first and 10, ball on the 41. Lincoln, Lincoln County comes out. C.J. Kreitz going to be your long, wide receiver. He's going to be towards the home side. We're going towards Lillian Sim, quarterback, under center. Quarterback goes back. He's looking. He's looking. Going to air it out. Going to make C.J. go for it. Will he get it? And they say wow. he got it. Oh, man, what a dive and what catch. A catch. Man, I wasn't at the game. Uh, who was it he had the great catch against early in the year up in Augusta? Was it? Uh, I think it was ARC. ARC. I didn't get to see that catch, but I will tell you something, that that is one of the most impressive catches I've seen in Lincoln County in a long time. Ball down on the 25-yard line. First and 10, 54 seconds wow. left to go as they move the chains up. Quarterback under center. C.J. Kreitz going to stay in there at wide receiver. He's all alone on the left side going toward Lillian Sims. Quarterback goes back. He's looking for him again. They got a man open this time. Oh, it overshoots him right around the two-yard line. Incomplete pass. Stops the clock at 48 seconds. Going to be second and 10. It's, it's in the realm of possibility here. Madison out wide towards the visitor side. Quarterback under center. He goes back. He's looking. He's looking. He's looking. He's going to throw it up. Almost intercepted oh, by Dooley wow. County. Huff just threw it up that time. He was throwing it to Brown. Brown was overtaken by Dooley County, and it's an incomplete pass. Third and 10. Just luck, luck there yeah. that it wasn't picked off. I tell you, Layton, could have been a pick six. Could have been a pick six. Uh, nobody I nobody didn't. in front but green grass and fall. Yeah, Trey, in front Trey's of. fast, and Trey, Trey May could have got to the sideline quick enough to stop him. But uh, Trey, that was a Trey, had, throw. Trey had pressure all over him. Here comes Madison to our side. Here comes Brown to our side. Here comes Claxton Jones to our side. Triples on the right. They're looking for, oh man, they had the screen set up with, with uh, Samaj Jenkins incomplete. Right in his hands, but he had, he had Dooley County defenders all around him. And that's going to bring up fourth down. So fourth and 10 on the 25. Let's see what we do. Yeah, that was another one of those kind of jailbreaks. 37 screens. seconds left to go on the clock as I'm looking up to the scoreboard. And it looks like we're going oh, for the goodness. field goal. They've brought in what? Abraham Crawford for the field goal. Ball is hiked. Kick is up. I don't think it's got enough, and it doesn't. Uh, we're going to return. Oh, you can't return it in high school. So they were trying to set up a return is what they were doing. But I tell you, we gave them 31 seconds left late, and that was why I wasn't real crazy about all pass plays. You give them 31 seconds left to go here, and I know they got to go a long way, but, man, that's, that's some time. And he tried to return it. He so here to... comes Dooley County on offense, trips to the left. Quarterback takes the snap. He's going to throw a screen pass over the left side. He finds a little bit of a hole. He's going to get out of bounds and stop the clock. He's going to get up to about the 28-yard line. He's taken out of bounds. Was that uh, was that Christian Elam? I think that so. That took him out of bounds, I believe 12, it was. Yes, yeah. sir. And so it's going to make it second down, too. He got eight on the play, and that's why I'm saying, you know, 31 seconds this is some time when you got a, an offense that is – 
they're trying to throw the ball tonight. Uh, I don't know how many pass attempts they have, but. So quarterback in the shotgun, two wide outs left, to the right. Oh, oh, he, oh he moved, he moved. Let's see if he moved after they, we crossed the line though. Nope, mm -hmm. they're gonna call a false start. So that's gonna back him up five yards. Gonna make it second down and eight, eight to go. So good play there, good call finally. We've been getting hosed on all of them all night. I don't know where everybody's pointing towards that way. Where are we looking at? I'm not sure either. Oh, is there a runoff? Is there a runoff? No. Something happened to the clock. I, I'm, I'm going to guess they're going to run and just go to half. Quarterback takes the snap, hand it off to his running back. There's the running play. And it's going to be down at the 27-yard line. And, they're going and that's going to be it. Yeah, they're going towards the field house. Yep. So they're going to let 10 seconds run off. And we're going to get ready for halftime here in Lincoln. But just everything you could want. Letters to Santa for the kids. Come on out. Uh, support the Secret Santa. Support the local FCA program. Um, and come buy a Christmas tree. Uh, we only, I think we're down to about 110 left, so we're, we're, we're getting low in stock. We have stands, we have fresh reeds, all that good stuff. Um, we also um, have some mistletoe if you need some sugar. So we're going to get rid <laughs> of them to Layton. Early so. County up at halftime, 19-7 to 7 on Bowden. So that's just an update for you. Thompson's in a dog fight, too. They've come back in South Atlanta. So good kickoff that time by Lincoln County. And Dooley County trying to do the same thing, trying to cross the left side. And this time he breaks free, and he's going down and like good. tackled by the kicker. Good job by Mr. Crawford on the tackle. And saved was, the touchdown. He's fast back there on that kickoff return, and he is slippery. He got through about three or four Red Devils. Finally, Abraham Crawford was able to take him down around the 39-yard line. But big return there as he took it about the 20, about a 20-yard return. For Dooley County, the Bobcats. And they're going to set the ball up at the 38. So first and 10 on the 38 for Dooley County. And C.J. Kreit almost made the same hit he made the last time we tried. To, they tried to set up that return. So Dooley County comes out in the shotgun. And it's two wide outs to the right, one to the left. Man goes in motion from right to left. Quarterback takes the snap. It's going to be a screen pass on the right side. And he's looking for a hole, not a whole lot there. Good defense by Samaj Jenkins. They're going to give him five on the play. So second and five, 11.33 left to go here in the third quarter. 7-7 seven, seven again, all tied up here in Lincoln. If you're just joining us after halftime, uh, Dooley County did receive the ball at halftime. And their first play, five yards, second and five. Running a lot of quick pass plays tonight if you're just joining us. A lot of curl routes, short curl routes, screen passes. Quarterback in the shotgun, takes a snap, hands it off to his running back. His running back finds a hole, and he's still fighting forward. He's wrapped up by CJ, and he's still fighting forward. And he's going to pick up about 15 on the play uh, on the 42-yard line, tied 7-7. Ten minutes to go in the third quarter. Quarterback takes the snap. Fakes the handoff. Quarterback's going to keep it. He goes across the left side. Good hit that time by Trey Huff. And it's going to be a tackle after a gain of four on the play, making second down and six. Ball on the 37, 38. So they're trying to grind the ball out. So far, it's working for them. They get a little bit of a time. 10-16 left to go here in the third. 7-7. Seven, seven. Dooley County on the move. So Dooley County in the shotgun. Two wide outs to the right, one to the left. Running backs on both sides of the quarterback. Takes the snap, going back to pass. He's looking downfield. Good defense by Trey Huff, who goes up and knocks it away. Pass breakup by Trey Huff. Good throw that time by the quarterback. Receiver went up to get it in the air, and Trey Huff there to knock it out of his hands. Great play. Question is, with the fog settling in, do you keep passing the ball? Yeah, you gotta wonder. <laughs> you gotta wonder how much is affecting the visibility, honestly, because I mean it is thick and it is getting lower and lower. It's all the way on the field now. As you can see, the home side through a mist almost. 
Quarterback in the shotgun, takes the snap, hands it off to his running back, trying to go across the left side. He cuts back in the middle of the field. He breaks free, and he is wrapped up. But nope, he's still running, and he's brought down by Trey Huff at the 10-yard line. First and goal at the 10. It looked like Franklin Brown was going to bring him down at about the 15, but he broke free from Franklin Brown, got another five yards. So he's right on the 10-yard line. Man, that horn's killing me. <laughs> you got a badge. <laughs> I can't do nothing about that. I didn't hear nothing about no horns. <laughs> Quarterback in the shotgun. Got a stack on the left side. Very weird formation. He's going to keep it, and he's going to run across the left side. He's still fighting forward, and it's going to be touchdown. He barely crosses the plane. It looked like he was short, but they're going to say he crossed the plane, and that's going to make it 13-7 to Dooley County. So Dooley County comes out after halftime, score on the first possession to make it 13-7, Dooley mm. County on top. Mm. That was another tough run that time. We wrapped him up at about the seven, six-yard line, but he was just dragging players. That's been a couple times tonight. They've carried some of our defenders. It's been a physical game. They line up for the extra point and there's a flag on the play. This might be big if they move them back. If this is, it might be a substitution infraction on Lincoln County though. It is a substitution infraction on Lincoln County. 12 men on the field. And let's see. I'm sure they'll still kick the field goal, the, the extra point. I, I wouldn't imagine they that extra yard is going to make them change their mind. So, yep, they line up for a field goal again. 13-7, 9.05 left. Snap is good. Hold is good. Blue County after scoring will kick off to the Red Devils. 9.05 left to go here in the third quarter. 14-7, Lincoln County on correction. Dooley County on top. Low line kick. We're going to take a... Dooley County bounce, and we're going to down it at the 28-yard line. First and 10, Lincoln County, after the bad hop, will take over on the 28-yard line. First and 10. And just, uh, I don't know what that ball did there, but yeah, it, it just skipped and kicked left on him. That's, that's what they say. It ain't a round ball, so you don't know which way that thing's going to bounce. <laughs> Lincoln like County quarterback under center first and 10 ball on the 28 one wide receiver to the left going toward Lillian Sims two back set quarterback under center and they got the box stacked up Trey's gonna run it Trey's at the 40 he's at the 50 Woo, here we go baby. 30 20 they ain't gonna catch him he's fast 10 touchdown Woo! Punch him right in the face then, baby. Man. All the way from the 28-yard line. Quarterback sneak, Trey Huff. And he had a rocket up him. He couldn't be caught. What a run by Trey Huff. He Man. had a hole there, and he stayed with it. They were stacked up in the box. I don't even know how he found a way, but he did. And that was the first keeper by Trey tonight. Um, second, second, second run keep. by Trey. Um, Trey Huff breaks it open. We're going for the extra point. Abraham Crawford in for the Red Devils. Ball is snapped. Hold is good. Kick is up. And we're tied up, folks, just like that. 14 after Trey Huff from the 28-yard line takes it to the house. Like, oh, what, 72-yard uh, rush by Trey Huff for yeah, TD. Beautiful run. And the fog... Is here to stay, folks. It is thick like soup right on the field. Kickoff high into the fog. It's going to be called around the 20-yard line. He's trying again to get that wall. He's going to cut back, and he's going to get tackled as he slips around the 30-yard line. Tackled by Judson Beggs that time. That time he tried to cut back right for the first time tonight. Judson there to bring him down. And when they say, when he say the fog, the, the fog is, is here, we can't even see the home side hardly anymore. I mean, you can barely make out the 
the home side of the field. So first and 10, ball on the 30, 14, 14, all up, 8.43 left to go here in the third. Each side still has three timeouts. We'll get you a top. Both, both sets of fans are getting loud right now. Got a little bit of excitement out here. Dooley County comes out on offense in the shotgun. Two wide outs to the left, one to the right. Two running backs back with the quarterback. Takes the snap, going to hand it off to one running back, go to the right side of that line. He's still trying to make men miss. He gets around the edge, and depending on where the spot, well, we can't even see that side of the field anymore. It's going to be close it. to a first down. I think he got it. And there's a flag on the play, and that was probably going to be holding. <laughs> and if we can find out from the referees, because I can't always see it. Yeah, we can't see the referees, so we don't know if we're going to make The last couple plays they've had, last three plays, they've run the ball. Still coming out with a full wide receiver set. Three wide receivers. Quarterback in the shotgun. Goes back to pass. He's looking. He's looking. He throws it way off target way that time. Off target. And he had a man wide open in the middle of the field, and the man in the middle of the field was throwing his hands up like, where were you looking? Uh, it's going to be incomplete. Second down and 15. They're hiding that wide receiver over there. <laughs> I think that's how he got so wide open. He, he was hid by the fog. So they come out again out of the shotgun. Two wide outs to the left. Going to fake the handoff. Quarterback's going to keep it. This time he has nowhere the to go. on the play. This, no, this, he oh, didn't fumble. fumble. He wrapped him up, though, and it's going to be a gain of, I'm going to say no gain on the I play. I thought it was a fumble there. They kind of gathered around like it was a fumble. Thompson wins. Thompson won 56 to 38. What a big win by Thompson. Going to the fourth round of the playoffs. Early in the third quarter. 19-7, Early County on top of Bowden. Johnson third. County all over Clinch, 24-7. Third down, 15 to go. Big third down here by Lincoln County. Get the ball back with good field position if we can hold them here. Quarterback in the shotgun, three wide outs to the right. Quarterback is going to go back to pass, and he's going to complete it. And the player is not going to have a whole lot of room. He fumbles the ball. Did we get it? And I think... They're, we saying, get, they're saying Lincoln County falls on it. Into the fog. Do we recover the fumble? First down. First down is us. Oh, here we go, boys. We can't see over there, but that's <laughs> what it's showing. I mean, I mean, it was. We're in the fog bowl here in Lincoln, and, and we just got a fumble. First down, good field position. First and 10, ball on the 30. Well, matter of fact, I think it's going to be on the 20, Next let's call eight. it 29. Yeah, maybe closer to the 28, but it is at least the 29. 7.32 left to go here in the third quarter. 14-14 Lincoln County just recovered a fumble. Here we go. Quarterback's going to be under center. One wide receiver out to the left. A little bit of confusion in the backfield. For Lincoln Mackay County. Wade has entered the backfield. Huff's going to do a toss to Mackay Wade. He's trying to find the side, and he's not going to find it as he goes off the back, out of bounds on the home side. Maybe a gain of, gain of one. They got nine men in the box, as Newberry just said. Going to be second and no gain. I mean, first and no gain, second and ten. But they are stacked in the box. We've got to do something to break them up out of that box. And every time they're coming, every time they're bringing the linebackers. Second and 10, quarterback, under center, tight set this time by the Red Devils. So we're going to veer it off. Here comes Franklin Brown. Little handoff as he goes off to the tackle, and he gets maybe a yard. And that was a misdirection play. We faked the handoff to run him, one running back running right, and we gave it to the running back running left. And uh, just good discipline on the defense that time. They didn't bite on the fake. May have gained a half a yard. Going to be third and nine. They're down there trying to keep the ball dry. Lincoln County this time, Madison checks in. He's wide to the visitor side. Quarterback under center. Hurry. 
He's going to run it himself. Oh, he's got a hole. And he's in there. He's not going to have enough. Close. It's going to be close. He's right at, he's at the 19. Big run there by Huff. They're going to bring it fourth. Oh, man, fourth and as close as you want it. Fourth and about a yard. One yard to go. You're in four down territory. Scores all tied up. Ball is probably right on the 19-yard line. We got to get to the 18. Quarterback under center. We're going to see where this line moves us. They may just try to draw him this time and then take a timeout. Nope. And they're going to go to the side, and we got enough. He went to the tackle, went behind the big tackle, and got a first down. First, it's going to be on the 17. 519 left to go here in the third. 14-14 uh, all up. And they're going to place the ball right on the 17-yard line. Huff gets to play from the sidelines. We're going to keep him down here in the hole. Going toward Lillian Sims. Huff under center. Two running backs behind him. He's going to fake it. He's looking for a man. He's got one. No, he doesn't. Oh, no. almost intercepted. Almost intercepted. He threw into a bunch of I, bobcats I, I, out there. It was somebody ran the wrong route, and, he's, I think and, it, and I think it was Samaj because he's patting his chest, telling his quarterback, my bad. Samaj had two around him. There was two in the open field, and he almost threw the interception. Yeah, Samaj was on the left corner of the end zone. Trey threw it right in the middle of the field. I mean, there was no, there was no player within 15 yards of the ball. Well, except Dooley County. Yeah. And three. Clock stops at 454, second and 10. Quarterback under center. We got C.J. Crite out there, wide receiver, going towards the home side, and he's going to hand it. He's going to throw it to C.J. Crite. C.J. Crite fights him off, stiff arms him, and he almost all the way down to the 10-yard line. They're going to say he got to about the nine, so it's going to be third and short. Third and let's see if I can calculate this. Third and about three. Man, he got more on that than I thought. I mean, from this side of the field, sometimes it's hard to tell how many yards they pick up. That was a nice pickup that time by C.J. He stiffed on them for about five yards. So third and three, we're down in four down territory, I would think. Quarterback this time in the shotgun. Wide receiver in close, got a man in motion, Franklin Brown. Hub's going to take it out. He's going to run it straight up the gut. And he's got to be inside the five. He's close. He's on the six, maybe. They're going to show him at the six. And, I mean, you're fighting for every yard down there. We got an official. Lincoln County comes down. They got Wade in there at quarterback, number two. He's going to get it, give it to Franklin Brown. Franklin Brown's going to try to run it outside. They're trying to scrape the ball from him, and he's going to hold right at the line of scrimmage. It's going to be a loss of about four, though. Really? Well, they're going to say three. Loss of three on the loss play back to three. the nine-yard line. What happened to Huff? Uh, I think they were just trying to throw him off. I don't, think, I don't think Trey's hurt or anything. Okay, here he comes. I see him now. Yeah, I think that was just a play where they were just trying to throw the defense off by putting Makai back there. So we lost three yards. Going to be second and goal on the nine. I didn't realize he lost that many yards. But they were raking at that ball. You could see him in there fighting. C.J. Christ checks in at wide receiver. He's going back. Hub's going back. He's looking. He's got him a man. Did he intercept it? Almost. No, he dropped it. Man, he jumped up there. Dooley County got jumped up there at the corner. Early, early County about 19-14 in the third quarter. Hey, Huff's got him a man in the end zone. He's looking. And I don't know whether he, he must have tripped on his own there, but he tripped. He fell. Kreit fell as he went into the end zone. Pass is incomplete. I don't think he could have caught it anyway if he'd have been. James Madison was, there was no defender near him on the right side of the field as well as uh, Franklin Brown down there, who's one of Trey's favorite receivers. Um, looked like he has some really nice. Uh... So fourth and goal on the nine, and they're going to set up for Crawford. Crawford comes in. Huff's going to hold it for him. Big field goal here for Lincoln County. 
Hold it. Ball is up into the fog, and it's good. Abraham Crawford with three on the board. Make it 17-4. Where exactly it's going to come down at. Abraham Crawford's going to tee the ball up as he's getting ready to kick off for the Red Devils. Again, 17-14 here in Lincoln, and we're up. 2.28 left to go in the third quarter. Abraham Crawford looks. Got it teed up. He's looking around. Good kickoff into the fog. And he's going to catch it around the 21-yard line. He's oh, gonna go this straight. time he faked him. He faked him and went straight up where he caught it. He caught it on the 20 around the home side, and he jetted up the sideline. Good field position for Dooley County. And another touchdown saving tackle by the kicker, Abraham Crawford. That's two times a bit because that's just the opposite of what they've been doing all night long. So Dooley County comes out on offense. Two wide outs to the left, one to the right. Quarterback takes the snap. He's going to hand it off to his running back, and he's bouncing, and he gets up to about the 45-yard line. I think they're going to give it to him on the 44-yard line on the, on the other end of the field. They got him a yard short. Number 66, Brinson Hurst in for the tackle. They're going to spell oh, the ball. Oh, we got an injured player down, and he looks like he's in some pain. He's grabbing his ankle. So That's a do Dooley County running back. Yep. So the, the running back's down on the 45-yard line. So big game there, second and five. We're going to take a timeout and come back to you. 98.7 FM, Lincoln County Broadcast Network. Three wide receivers, two to the right, one to the left as they're going towards the gym. Quarterback's going to be in the shotgun. Two running backs behind him. Got a man in motion. Quarterback takes the snap. He's going back to pass. He's going to throw a screen pass, and it's going to, they said, falls incomplete, and that actually helps them. Um, that it falls incomplete because it would have been a loss of five yards. He threw it behind the line of scrimmage and uh, underthrew it. So it's going to make it third down and five from the 45-yard line. And as we've said several times, I got a feeling that they're going to try to run for – they're going to they gonna go for it on fourth down here if they don't get it on third down there in Lincoln County territory. So second and five, and here comes Dooley County. They break the huddle. Quarterback in the shotgun. Got two wide outs to the left, one to the right. Two running backs with the quarterback. One of the running backs goes in motion from left to right. Quarterback goes back to pass. He's looking. He's looking. Sack lunch, baby. He fumble. And Lincoln County saying we got it. We got it, it again, good. baby. Woo! Fourth fumble of the game. Now we're two for four. We get another one, baby. It's they're bringing them. Quarterback under center. Hub's going to jump over him and go to about the 50 and nothing else. Quarterback sneak by Huff as he jumped over one lineman to get where he got. Ball square up on the 50. We're just up from the diamond. Going to be second and seven. 107 left to go here in the third. Wide receiver in tight. Red Devils in tight. They toe to toe and foot to foot. Quarterback's going to keep it. He's going to roll out. He's wide got his man open. wide open. Oh my goodness, Franklin Brown wide open. 25 out of bounds at the 24 yard line. Franklin Brown didn't have nobody around him. Nobody. But him. Eight seconds left to go. 17 14. We're on top. Quarterback under center. One wide receiver out to the left. Five seconds. Come on, Huff. Get it off, baby. Here comes. Big hole. Big hole. Some eyes. Jenkins. Big hole. Touchdown, Lincoln County. Had a hole you could drive two Cadillacs through. Some eyes. Yeah. Jenkins touchdown. Yeah. Big Lincoln County all set up. 23 14. 40 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Huff holding for Crawford. The snap is good, a little high, but he brings it down. Hold is perfect, good. Now Dooley County has some work to do. Abraham Crawford got it teed up. 
If I was him, I'd kick it off to the right side. I know. They keep kicking it left. They're going to let it roll this time, and it's going to roll out of bounds. We'll take that. We'll start the ball at 35. First and 10, Dooley County on the 35. They may make five. Dooley and County comes out on offense. They got one wide out to the right. Nope, two. They just lined up. There's, there's twins on both sides. Quarterback in the shotgun running back to his left. If I'm not mistaken, that's the injured running back to his left. Quarterback takes the snap. And the running back is going to take a screen pass. And he's going to cut back to the middle of the field. He's still running. He goes across the right side of the field. He's still running downfield. He's only got one man to beat. And they knocked him out of bounds. They're going to say he got out of, down to the one-yard line. Man. Franklin Brown in the back, that was the only reason Franklin Brown was able to get to him is because he didn't get hit in the back by that defender. So first and goal at the one for Dooley County. And they're still trying to walk off this running back who's limping off the field, and there he's finally off to the sideline. And they will wind it up, and here we go. And so 22 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Dooley County knocking on the door, takes the snap. Oh, he cuts we, back left. We had a man in the backfield, but he was it. able to get by him. It's going to be a touchdown, Dooley County, and it's going to be 24 to 20 with 16 seconds left to go in the third quarter. So we just like that. So snap good, hold good, kick is up, and it is good. good. So 24. I'm just hoping the hands team is up front, it looks like. They're going to kick it low. Low line, and here comes... Looks like Franklin Brown. No, it's Samaj Jenkins. He's trying to get around the side. He's still dancing. He gets around on the sideline over there, and he's not got a bounds around the 40, I want to say the 43. 22, 21, 22. 22, 19, Bowden on top in the third quarter with two minutes left in early county. We're going to come out. We're going to run the ball quarterback under center. And that's Kelby Glaze for the Red Devils. And, yeah. And he gets knocked back to around, he, he got, they gave him to the 45, a three, uh, two yard game. So it's fourth quarter here in Lincoln, kicked down in about eight. After that two yard game by Kelby Glaze, Lincoln County comes out, one wide receiver. Quarterback's gonna be under center. And they're gonna run it. Here comes Trey Huff. Got a flag, flag on, on the, the play. play. In the place where they would normally be holding. We'll but I don't see. see a red devil around them over there. We'll see. Probably about 16. They're going to call it 18. Second and 18, 11.48 left to go here in the fourth. 24-21 in a dog fight with the Bobcats. Quarterback under center. Got a man in motion. He's going to roll out. He's looking, he's looking, he's looking, he's looking. He throws it. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, saved by Franklin Brown. It would have been an interception, and Franklin Brown just able to get up, and there's a flag in the backfield. It must be roughing the passer. This would be a huge. Big game here, 24-21. Lincoln County on top. Lincoln County comes out. We're foot-to-foot -foot and toe-to-toe -to -toe on that line. Wide receiver in close. Well, they're waiting on the meeting to finish. Quarterback under center. Got a man in motion. Claxton Jones right behind the quarterback. Here we go. Here comes Samaj around the corner. No, that's Franklin Brown. He's trying to find a step, and he's not going to find one. Taken down hard at the 50-yard line. C.J. Kreit checks in. Wide receiver out to the right side. We're going towards the gymnasium. Quarterback under center, and he's going to keep it. He goes around the side. He's at the 45, and he's met by the Bobcats. Good game there, though. Yeah. Comes out third and four. Quarterback under center. They're tied in on the wide receiver side. Here comes Samaj Jenkins, and he and should have enough. First down. He had a five-yard gain. He just had enough. Pause it to set the ball up. One wide receiver, C.J. Cried in to the left side. Makai Wade has checked in in the running backs. And here comes Samaj again. Samaj is finding holes over there somewhere. He's still going, he fumbled, fumbled the ball. 
He and fumbled the ball. I don't know who fell on it. I think I think we fell. Right, and I believe two to the left. One man goes in motion from left to right. Now it's trips on the right. Quarterback in the shotgun, takes the snap, going to fake the handoff, and the quarterback's going to keep it. Woo! And he's brought down man, in the backfield. I can't believe he didn't fumble the ball. And I think that was, let's see, that was Christian Elam, and number Mekhi 12. Wade also. Well, not number 12. It was Judson one. Beggs. Yep. It was Christian yep. Elam and Judson Beggs. Judson Beggs came in after Christian Cr Elam was Christian able to Christian Elam wrap him hit him up. right on the ball, though. He hit him right where the hand and the ball was. I can't believe he held on to that. A loss of about two on the play. Going to be second and 12, 9-16 left to go here in the fourth. Lincoln County up 24-21. to 21. Quarterback in the shotgun. Got twins to the left, twins to the right. Now the man goes in motion from right to left. Now it's going to be three wide outs to the left. Quarterback goes back to pass. He's looking. He's got his player over there wide open, but he's going to overthrow his player. Tell me how in the world he sees it. I mean, that's I, don't a, know how. I mean, we can't see the stands on the other side now. We see little bitty dots over there, but we can't really see anything. So quarterback in the shotgun, three wide outs to the left, one to the right. Quarterback takes the snap. He goes back to pass. He's looking. He's going to throw it downfield, and it falls incomplete. Right through his arm. It, it was. went completely through his arm. Did you see yeah. where Wade is played up at? Well, I think they're playing a fake is what they're playing. They would rather... And the high snap, but the punt is away. Good go. punt. He booms it. It lands all the way. It gets all the way down to the 24-yard line. So very good punt. This, I think it's all you can do to see the ball. Lincoln County comes out. First and 10, ball on the 24. Huff's going to be under center. Everybody's in tight. He's going to hand it off, a little cross buck. Here comes Samaj Jenkins. Hold on to the ball. As he goes all the way to the 29-yard line. Good run there by Samaj. And honestly, you have to assume that even finding out which running back has the ball right now is going to be hard to do. So they let the clock. It's at 8:18, 8 and it's ticking away. They're going to call it second and five. That's a short five. Huff comes under center. Again, we're tight in there. Foot to foot, toe to toe. Huff under center. He's going to hand it off again. No, he's not. He's going to roll out. He's rolling out. I can't see him in the fog. He's, he's got, way in the backfield. There's no way he could see his wide receiver. Look, I mean, look look where they're. I mean, the ball is on the 11-yard line. 11-yard line. They're going to call it third and 23. And from where I'm standing right now, Red Devils are so close to the home side, I cannot see them. It looks like Lincoln County is going to take a timeout right here. Literally can't see the players. They're going to run the ball out of the backfield. He's still on his feet, but I can't tell where he's at. He's finally brought down. Big run there by whoever. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I can't see the – they ran out to about the 20. Be fourth down for Lincoln County. Yeah, they ran – all we can tell you is they ran right. So, so it's a gain of about seven, and how Gill is still able to do all that, I don't know. I think all he said was gain of seven. He didn't know who run the ball. Fourth down, we're going to have to punt the ball. And I think they're going to be in the same shape we are. They're not going to go back and try to field it. Gill says they're going to be on the 47. First and 10, Dooley. So Dooley County comes back on offense again. Last time Lincoln County able to hold them. Great defensive series. Let's see if we can do it again. Quarterback in the shotgun. I believe it's three wide outs to the left. Quarterback's going to take the snap and keep it all the way. Go around the right side. He's going to pick up maybe about... They're going to give him four on the play, make it second down. He's run out of bounds by Franklin Brown. It's going to be second down and six to go. And with 6.21 to go, the clock has stopped because he went out of bounds. Lincoln County up 24 to 21. And I can assure you this is four down territory for the rest of the way for Dooley County being in Lincoln County side of the field. Quarterback in the shotgun, takes the snap. 
Hands it off to his running back. He tries to run left. Good tackle that time. I have no idea who it was, but it's going to be a pickup of one. It was a gang of them. Going to bring up third and five. Clock continues to run. When they, when they hike the ball, it's going to be below six minutes left to go. So big third down here for Lincoln County. I mean, for Dooley County and Lincoln County. Lincoln County's defense. Clock is running. Five minutes, 45 seconds left to go. Quarterback in the shotgun takes the snap. I think the quarterback kept it. I can't tell. He's going to get right to the line of scrimmage. I mean, right to the first down. It depends on where the spot is. It's going to be close. We can't see anything. But we can see the referee on this side of the field that's standing at the, and it's going to be a first down at the 36-yard line. First and 10, Dooley County, 36-yard line. Now, mind you, Lincoln County is up one field goal, and Dooley County does have a kicker that has a little bit of a leg. I don't know how much. Clock at 5.15. First and, first and 10 at 37. Quarterback in the shotgun. Takes the snap. Hands it off to his running back. Doesn't find much room there. He's going to be brought down after a pickup of, I think they're going to give him two yards on the carry. He's going to uh, maybe three. They're going to get down to the 24-yard line. Nope, that's the 34-yard line, ain't it? Uh, we can't see the numbers. <laughs> Got a what? I couldn't hear him. Something about a player's helmet. I don't know what he's talking about. Second and seven. Ball on the 35. And there's a timeout. 24 21. Lincoln County on top. Dooley County in the shotgun. Three wide outs to the right. That's all I can tell you because I can't see the other side of the field. Second and seven. Quarterback takes the snap, hands it off. It's going to be a keeper, and he's going to get the first down and then some. He's still running. He gets all the way down to the 20-yard line. They're going to mark him down at maybe the 19. Let's see. No, right on the 20 is right where this judge is showing. We can't see the ball. So Dooley County with first and 10, ball on the 20. Clock is running now at four minutes. Quarterback takes the snap, hands it off to his running back. His running back's got an opening, and all I can see, I can't tell you where he, he got to, but I can tell you there was a big opening. He's inside the five, wherever he's at. It's four or the three. Man, it's killing me not being able to see here, Layton. 3.56 to go. Clock first and goal from the four. Dooley County knocking on the door in the shotgun. Quarterback takes the snap. Hands it off to his running back. He cuts back on the inside. I can't see. Touchdown, Dooley County. Wait, wait, wait. There's a flag on the play. I don't know. Where did they place it down? It says first and goal from the nine now, so I'm going to assume it was a procedure penalty. Two wide outs to the right. Can't see the left. Quarterback in the shotgun. Takes the snap. Hands it off to his running back. His home back doesn't he's have anywhere to go. Field. He's going to be right at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, he's down in the backfield. I think they're going to give him one on the carry. going to be second and nine. Second and goal on the nine, excuse me. 309 left to go, clock is just ticking away. Ooh, this is getting crazy. I mean, I can't see nothing. It is clearing up a little bit though. It is a little it, bit. It started to clear up a little bit. Now we can actually see the quarterback at least. Quarterback in the shotgun, takes the snap. 
Fakes the hand, hand off to his running back. He runs across the right side. And they're going to put him down at, what is it, the two, the one. He's running. Third down, one to go. Quarterback takes the snap. Hands it off. He, he fell down in the backfield. He fell down in the backfield. No good. No good. It is fourth down. And he lost him yardage. He lost probably about two. Oh, this is a big call right here. What do you do? What do you do? I don't know. It looks like they're keeping the offense on the field. Have to go. Well, let's see what they do. They're coming on out. They're going to go for it, looks like. Yep, the quarterback is on the quarterback's field. Quarterback's in there. Running back number three is in there. Lincoln County, stack them up in the box. All right, here we go. Dooley County in the shotgun. And, and I think they're saying Dooley County moved. Clock stopped at 155, 24, 21 here in the fourth quarter. Fourth and one, probably not even a whole yard. Right here on the goal line, this is all she wrote. Your running back's hurt. Your quarterback. You got to get some penetration in that backfield, folks. Here we go. And Lincoln County is going to hold them. Let's see. He did not get in. Woo! He holds them. Lincoln County held them. But we are <laughs> we're in a bad spot. We are in. Yeah, they can't they can't down it. They can't do a victory formation because they they ain't got room to do it. Quarterback sneak is what they're gonna have to do. Yeah. So it's gonna put us. We got them foot to foot. We're in a goal line stance. We're just moving the ball. Big yeah, jump yeah. there. That's a good move there. I don't know who ran the ball, but we ran all the way out to about the six. Yeah, that gives us enough room to do a victory formation. That gives though. enough room. Let the clock run. Clock is running 129. Let's go. I'm looking at the play clock. It's 28 seconds. We're going to take our time. We're going to bleed them dry. And finally, the horn goes up. Thank you. <laughs> One Lincoln of the best County. games I've seen in a long time. We'll go down in history as the Fog Bowl, and it was a tight one. Five seconds left on the play clock. We're going to run the ball out. He's running the ball. Don't fumble the ball. Hold it with both hands. He runs out. Did he stay out of bounds? Did he run? They, uh, no, they called it. As he stayed in. He went out of bounds. Did he go out of bounds? Timeout, did, did he go out of bounds? Oh, he, mu he must not have. He it. must they not have. Time out. So they stopped the clock at 10. They're all gathered around him. Huff's going to take a knee, and that's going to sew him up, folks. As the clock, we got to hike it one more time. There's about a two or three second difference in the play clock. And the oh, it's so sweet. And they're going to let it run out. Here we go, folks. Let's go party so we can get down and party.